Hello and welcome, thanks for tuning in and today I have a featured product review. Taking the Spin is a 1080p wireless security camera system. This is the first Trend 4 camera wireless NVR system, featuring 65 feet night vision, 8 frequency channels, IP66 weather resistant, easy remote monitoring, and a wireless DVR with a 2TB hard drive included. I would like to thank the agents for sending this system for today's review, however, the views contained in this video are totally my own and is as a direct interaction with this product. So stay tuned, I have a full unboxing and live demonstration up next. Welcome back, this is the box that it's shipped in. The entire package weighs 9 pounds, so be mindful if you're shipping outside of the US. And without further ado, I will do a quick unboxing. In the box, you have the DVR for recording the surveillance. You get four wireless HD 1080p cameras along with mounting accessories for each camera. You get a box with all the power adapters and cables for the DVR and the cameras. You get a free USB mouse and mouse pad. And the last item here is a user's manual and a metal drill bit. Let's first look at the DVR's design and what ports it provides. Most of the body is made of metal, with a plastic panel with three LED indicators and the company logo to the front. To the back, you have one HDMI port, one VGA port, one Ethernet LAN port, one USB port, a power input jack, and two external antennas. To both sides you have ventilation holes. And to the bottom, you have some more ventilation holes just below the hard drive. And now a look at the camera. This is one of the four HD wireless cameras included in this package. The camera is made of a very strong material, and it has Allen key adjustments for angling the camera to wherever you want. To the side, you have the connector for the antenna. The cable for connecting to the power adapter is 1 foot 21 inches, and in addition to the power jack, I see that this camera can also be connected to an Ethernet LAN cable, probably using it on a hub together with the DVR. To the front of the camera you have your HD lens and a sensor. And to seal the camera, you have a rubber seal just around the edge here. So that's basically it. I will now refer to the user's manual and take a couple of hours to set up and install these cameras. Once I have completed, I will connect the DVR to my capture card and record some footage and some basic settings. So I have successfully installed the cameras with a simple electric drill, hammer and screwdriver. The included power adapter in some cases, had to be used together with an extension cord to gain access to AC wall sockets, and that was also a simple task to do. So I now head on over to the DVR where I will initiate the boot up process. When you boot for the first time, you will be greeted with a NVR startup screen followed by a configuration wizard. You have a screen to scan with your mobile phone to set up the mobile monitoring app. You also have to click on the necessary options and set up your date and time pertaining to your country and laws.
Here you will have to ensure that the DVR is connected to your internet modem using the included Ethernet LAN cable. Once these steps are completed, you are then able to access the cameras. At this point the DVR connects to the four cameras automatically, and starts recording immediately. Here is a look at some footage in daylight settings. And here is some nighttime footage. The capture footage is in HD quality, and the wireless signal does not drop off or gets distorted. The cameras are located about 50 feet away from the DVR, and the signal feed is strong indicated by these Wi-Fi signal icons. To play back the recording is easy, simply right-click with the included mouse anywhere on the screen and click Video Playback, and the playback for the last 12 to 24 hours will begin. You can skip to any time during the playback by clicking on any spot on the timeline. The DVR records up to three weeks before deleting the oldest week, so using the included calendar you can navigate to previous days during the three-week period. You also have the option to back up the current playback footage to a USB flash drive. To access footage on your mobile phone, scan the QR code for your mobile device and install the IP Pro app available for Android and iOS devices. Once you have installed the app, click the Add button and then select Kit Setup. On the following screen it will attempt to scan your network to detect your DVR. My advice to you, is to ensure that your mobile phone is connected to the same internet as the DVR via Wi-Fi, and select Add manually. On the next screen enter your cloud ID by clicking on the Scan button, and scanning the code on the cloud ID screen. Enter first trend as the device name. Then leave the password blank if you did not set a password for the wizard setup. If you entered a password you have to enter it here. Once this is done, select complete to the top of the screen and you will gain access.
You can now remove your mobile phone from the home Wi-Fi and use your mobile data to test for access to your home security cameras. In summary, the first trend wireless security camera system worked better than I expected, in reference to some of the comments I have read online. This model is the updated model and it works superb. I have no issues with it, and it has already shown me things that prevented unwanted activities around my home. The only issue I had was in the installation process, where in one instance the power adapter cord was too short to reach the wall socket, and I had to use an extension. Other than that, I highly recommend this product as a good functioning HD wireless security camera system. There is also an 8 camera model, see the link in the description area. Thanks for watching. If you are interested in this first trend security camera system, special links were placed in the description area for you to take advantage of discount prices. Remember to like this video, use the links in the description area to support my channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notifications bell to be notified via email when I release a next video. Stay tuned, and see you in the next one.